No opening statements, just straight to you guys, if, that, if that's okay with you. That's totally fine, Eddie. What can you tell us about what you've seen from this group so far this spring? Uh, a little bit of a, a unique spring. We got our roster a little earlier this year, which I think has yielded some positive benefits. There's, there's a lot of familiarity here, um, especially on the pitching side of things. A lot of guys that have been here before, a lot of guys that are veterans to, to the Southern League and veterans to our culture here and what, what we're trying to do and create. Um, and then same thing on the, on the position player side. It's a little bit of a younger group, um, but guys that it's not their first taste of it. So there's a lot of familiarity. Um, from a work standpoint, we've been really, really pleased with what we've been able to do so far and looking forward to getting started on Friday. A little bit of a unique situation this year. Obviously, you guys always have a lot of top 30 talent, but having the top four prospects in order and then number one and number 30 all in the same spot, what do you think it says about the kind of guys you're going to have on the team this year? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, 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 a, it's a talented group. I mean, um, it's a talented group, and it, it makes you feel good about, you know, what we're – what, what max capacity for us looks like, but at the same time too, it's like we're aware of all those things and, and working to try to keep our focus as small as we can keep it. So we're aware of that stuff, aware with how uh, of how good we feel about the players that we have in there and more important, the people that we have in there um, and just really not having any of our attention be split any 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 further than, than the workout this afternoon also too, so. Played with the major league club at some point last year. How valuable do you think that experience will be for them mentoring some of the younger guys? Probably the most valuable experience we have here. Um, there's uh, at this point now, there's a lot of reference points uh, for guys going up and staying up, and guys uh, going up and coming back down from a staff standpoint. But when you've got players that have actually seen it firsthand, um, it, it 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 hits different. Um, there's a different level of of uh, relatability from player to player, and it's really, really valuable and something we're going to lean on a ton. And it just for you another season back in the Rocket City, just kind of what have you learned the past couple of years that you're going to take in? We don't have enough time for that. Um, it is. It has been specifically with the staff here, um, with, with Michael and with Dan, um, and then Doug Henry, who we've added to the staff this year, who will help Mike and, and, and work in the bullpen for us. Doug and I were together in 21 in Pasco. Um, Doug has had a massive, massive in, impact on me. Um, everybody kind of knows how, how I feel about Dan, and Mike and I go back a long way. Doug's been huge for me, and Doug is a huge addition for our relievers in bullpen, and I think Mike would tell you the same thing. So um, just the uh, – when, when you play 140 games or 138 games in 160 days, it's impossible not to learn a ton if you pay attention. And then when you're exposed to the people that I've been lucky enough to be exposed to on, on, on the staff here, we don't, we don't have time for me, to, for me to answer that question accurately. Just kind of for you guys, um, obviously the season hasn't even started yet. You're still kind of really getting to know the group. But what is the goal for Trash Pandas this week? To do a good job this afternoon. It's literally that simple. Um, we will, we've got, every day has, has a purpose, every, every day has a main priority, and we're going to fulfill that purpose and priority today, and we're going to do the same thing tomorrow, and then we'll get on the bus and, 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 and go to Tennessee on Friday and, and uh, you know, grind to give them whatever we got. So. Speaking of experience, there's only one guy on the team that's actually been here longer than you have, and that's Brett Carey, who's going to be starting his full season. Mm -hmm. What can he bring to this team and kind of help you with, if anything? I think that if you really look at specifically, and just speaking for when I've laid eyes on Brett, from 22 until now, I think last year was a massive step from just a pitchability standpoint, just how much more efficient he's been able to be, the way he's able to sequence. Talk about somebody that's learned a ton. Um, when you look at kind of what he was in 22 and the evolution of himself, and honestly, you know, this year in spring training may be the best version of Brett that we've seen yet. Um, so yeah, if we lean on him from a stability standpoint, um, he offers feedback and off the charts person too. So he's somebody that you can go to and ask him how this thing has progressed for him, for us to be able to learn too, and the lines not get blurred at all. And he's a huge resource for the other pitchers in the room too. One thing you always talk about, and we want to talk about wins and losses, you're mostly focused on development. When you have a couple guys who did play at the major league level last year, how do you try and explain to them like, hey, it doesn't mean you're not good enough to be there. It means that we just have to pop. I, I, I don't. Th I think if you did try to have that conversation, you'd be insulting their intelligence a little bit. I think those guys are very well aware of the nature of the industry. They're aware of roster limitations. And they always have a ton of confidence in who they are and players too. So I think there's an, there, there's there's been enough guys that have enough time in the system and in the industry now that they've got a good feel for that type of thing. That we feel really good about where we're at.
in a short period of time. You're always in remittance of them every day. Right. You're not, you're not going to win every day, of course, not right. every day. How do you just kind of explain that to the people at home? Like, we're playing a lot of baseball. We might not always get the exact result. Right. Before, but you know, I think if Dan was out here, he would tell you that maybe the people at home could teach me something about that too, because it's something that we we all we all grind on at heart. But it's yeah, it's it's six days a week for 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 however many weeks, and and it the really the only way to navigate something that kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Something that that's kind of uh, to that scale is just to break it down into small chunks, and so you kind of break the season down into one week battles and in a one week series and then you break that series down into one day battles and we're going to do our best to fight this thing one day at a time. I I am I am a fan of anything Garrett and Lindsay deem appropriate. Um, I will punt on the hats and then use that as a segue to just to brag on how well this whole thing's run. I'm I'm a fan of everything here. So the the hats included, it is an incredibly unbelievable place to come to work every day. Our players are lucky. I'm I'm lucky. The staff's lucky. It is it, it is an awesome place with e- with even better people. Um, and so whatever that group of people deems appropriate for what we're going to do here, I'm going to be a huge fan of. Andy, uh, we talk a lot about experience. The two youngest guys on the team, Nelson Brown and Kim Dana, uh, two of the higher prospects. What have you very, very early impressions of them so far and their ability here in the double A? Uh, just two people that are very comfortable in their own skin. One, very hungry to learn, too. So uh, you're excited about everybody, incredibly excited for them. Um, excited for the opportunity that they've got in front of them and really excited to have a chance to, to, to have a hand in their development and journey. Anything else for Andy? All good? Beautiful. All right.